In this video, we're going to download and install the SQL Server Developer Edition so that you can practice your SQL skills. Okay, the first thing we need to do is install SQL Server. So we need to go out to the internet and download SQL Server Developer Edition. So let's head out there and do a quick search for SQL Server Download. And it should take you to a Microsoft site for SQL Server download. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. Now there's a different things on this web page. We're actually looking for the spot that says Developer Edition. So this here right now, as of the time of this recording, is SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition. It says it's a full featured free edition licensed for use as development and test database in non-production environment. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and download that. It opened up a download here. Um, and that's not the whole download, so because it's just 5.7 megabytes. So um, I will save that and then I'll run it. And it's popping open a new window here. And so we've got the SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition. Select an installation type. Um, we're going to try basic. Um, if you accept the, you know, their whole license here, then you hit accept. Um, I'm just going to take the default installation location and hit install. And so this is going to run through the whole installation here. And uh, I will pause the video and uh, we'll pick it back up here in a minute after we get the downloading of uh, all the files down here. Okay, it looks like the download successful. It looked like it was about a gigabyte um, there. And uh, now it's going into an installation phase. Okay, so the installation has completed successfully. Now um, there's some options at the bottom that we can do. Um, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this connect now and see what happens here. Um, that opened up SQL CMD, SQL command, um, and it connected to your database. And so it just ran a, a statement select at app version go, and it shows you the version of SQL Server that you installed, which is the 2019 um, server. And it tells you that we're on a Windows 10 Pro machine. And so um, that uh, means your server is up and running and you have connected. And so the next thing we need to do though, because we're not going to use the SQL command tool in order to write all of our SQL, we actually want to use a tool called SQL Server Management Studio. Um, so let's go ahead and install that now.